I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution, and today I want to show you one of the coolest end-to-end -end workflows. Normally, wireless video is pretty boring. It's like tripods. It either works or it doesn't. It sends video from point A to point B at the distance that it's advertised. Now, I want to show you something a little bit more interesting in wireless video. This is the Nimbus 6220. It is a wireless uh, video transmitter, so it does do send video from point A to point B at up to 3,000 feet, but it also sends a lot of other information as well. It can send Ethernet data, it can send serial data, it can send intercom, as well it has an embedded H.264 encoder, and it also has an optional relay. Now, what is a relay? A relay is a device that sits between the transmitter and the receiver that lets it actually go uh, further, up to 4,000 feet additional in distance, but more importantly, it allows you to go around corners. Now, traditional uh, wireless video is measured in LOS, line of sight. Now, line of sight is no longer an issue when we can have the transmitter and receiver uh, if they can both see the relay, then they don't have to see each other. So that's an incredible advantage to this product over other products on the market. So let's take a closer look at it. This is the unit here. It has uh, indicator lights for power, uh, what video you're outputting, uh, signal strength. It also has a bank of toggles for controlling what the channel you're using is. It has up to 64 different channels, so you can dodge other active sources in the 5G spectrum. This block of toggles down here is to set whether you're using a relay or not, and it also allows you to set the um, encoding bitrate of the video. This connector down here is for serial control, so this is for sending serial data uh, from a traditional CCU or really any other kind of serial data that you could send via RS-422. This is a USB connector for firmware updating, and then the most interesting part on the unit, I think, is the Ethernet control. And this is how we send IP PTZ data, CCU data. Uh, we can also use to, this to access the web UI. We also have the H.264 encoder, so we can get IP video out of this port, whether it's H.264 or MPEG TS. We also have a V-mount uh, battery on here, so we can also put in um, DTAP. And then um, we have on the bottom is a 3 quarter 20 and then uh, we have a light uh, pole mount. Power on the side, uh, on-off switch, this is the intercom here. So the, we can use just standard um, cell phone earbuds or we can wire this into a traditional intercom system. And then we have SDI and HDMI out. The transmitter is pretty much the same thing in reverse. Uh, HDMI in, SDI in, um, intercom, power, uh, ethernet, serial, um, system ID and uh, Wi-Fi channel and signal quality in reverse. So they're very similar. Uh, the main difference is, is that it doesn't have a light pole mount and it's a transmitter instead of a receiver. So let's take a look at this workflow that I've set up here to explain how cool this stuff is. What I've set up here is a Scarhoy controller, um, two of them actually, and they're connected to a network router under the table and the network router is connected to the 6220 receiver via this uh, ethernet cable here. And then um, wirelessly, we're sending a signal over to the transmitter, and the transmitter is connected, again, via ethernet cable to this PTZ camera here. So this is an IP PTZ camera that has been programmed into the Scarcoy controller. And as a demonstration that we're able to not just control uh, send Ethernet data of any kind, we can send PTZ data in an extremely um, responsive fashion. So it's very quick to respond. There's no latency at all here um, in terms of the response speed. So the whole idea here is that I'm just using a Scarhoy controller. Um, the, it doesn't have to be a Scarhoy controller. I just like them because they're great controllers. This could be the PTZ, IP-based PTZ controller of any brand of PTZ camera. Uh, the other thing, th the other uh, side of the coin here is, is that this isn't just for PTZ control. We could also use this for CCU control. So we can use something like this Scarhoy RCP to control an Arri Amira uh, wirelessly or any kind of CCU device. So, and it's not just IP because the 
6220 can send serial data, it can be a lot of your traditional serial kind of control as well. So a lot of your older um, broadcast cameras can carry serial data, um, can communicate with their cameras via serial for their CCU. So the obviously the current crop of cameras are um, migrating towards IP, for which these are great solutions, whether it's the CCU um, that comes with the cameras uh, available from the manufacturer or a Scarhoy PTZ or CCU RCP. Um, any of these things work because the 6220 is agnostic. It's sending, the, it's sending IP data, so it doesn't really care what flavor or format it is. As long as your CCU can communicate with your camera, whether it's a PTZ, a broadcast camera, um, it doesn't matter to the, the 6220. Same thing for the serial data, it's pretty much agnostic. So this is uh, hopefully giving you a couple of ideas of the different things that the 6220 can aid you with and give you a lot more power and flexibility in what you can do. So let's take a quick look at what the software side of things is because there's a web UI. Let's look at that. The neat thing about the 6220 is that it has a web UI, not just for the receiver, but also for the transmitter. So I can actually access both units wirelessly um, through the network just by dialing in uh, and entering their IP addresses into a browser and logging into it. And this is where I can set things like their IP address, um, the gateway, if I need to uh, control how the streaming is done, I can set what the uh, input is uh, from, um, whether it's uh, RTP or uh, MPEG TS over UDP, um, I can turn the RTSP uh, server on and off, uh, system configuration, uh, it gives you a lot of information about what you're connected to, how it's being connected. There are a variety of configurations that this system can be used at, both wirelessly through um, an access point, through a relay, wired. So the, the number of configurations possible with the 6220 is pretty much quite endless. Um, we can also uh, look at how the, um, if we need to do a firmware, update that's done through this um, streaming control uh, same thing over here if i want to control how the video is being um, streamed uh, there's very granular controls in here but in most cases it's not strictly necessary to use the web ui because things like um, wi-fi channel uh, and bitrate and whether you're using sdi or hdmi are actually accessible through the uh, exterior of the unit on the you know the sides through the dip switches and toggles. So the web UI is a nice interface, but it isn't strictly necessary. But it is a nice thing to have, and I wanted to show you this so that you can see all the kinds of different um, control and power that the Nimbus 6220 has. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of the Nimbus 6220. This is an incredibly flexible product, and hopefully it's giving you some ideas about how it can improve your production. It's got an incredible amount of power over traditional wireless products, being able to carry Ethernet, serial data, intercom, be an H.264 encoder, and additional power of adding a relay, which lets you go around corners or extend your range even further. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit our website at usbroadcast.co and Thanks for watching.